Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix with an actor and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to do color grading in First of All Camaro and also you can follow these steps for those that have Lightroom for retouching or color grading or processing raw files. So you're going to be editing this image from uh, looking like this uh, to looking like this. I hope you can see the before and after that we're going to be doing for this very image. So the very first thing I'm just going to come and reset this very image to the default so that we can start from scratch. So as you can see, this is the raw file. And for those interested in the behind the scenes for this very image, I'm going to put the link for you guys right above here so that you can watch how I shot this very image. And you can see my softbox was right here. And for lighting, I use the Godox AD600 BM in a 120cm octa box. So this is the image straight out of camera and it is a raw file taken using my Canon 6D. ISO 200 85 millimeter lens and I shot it at f4 at 1 out of 800 of a second. So the very first thing I prefer to do when I'm dealing with raw images is first of all coming to the tint option. So since I have so much of the magentas, especially in the skin tones right here, I'm just going to come and reduce on the amount of magentas just like that until up that point when I'm losing out on the magenta so you can see the before and the after it is not too much and it is really subtle so after I've turned down the magentas I'm just going to come to my highlights and simply push them down so don't mind if at all the image is turning out to look dark so don't mind about that so I'm just going to turn it all the way down to around negative 71 and do the same for my whites just like that so I'm just going to push it all the way down to ne negative 73. Then after I've done that, you can see that my image is turning out to look uh, really underexposed. So I'm just going to come to the shadows and simply push up my shadows to around 61. I think that is too much. Then I'm just going to come to my exposure and just pump up my exposure. I hope you can see how the image is turning out to look. And... We have just gotten back to the point where we started so this is the before and after before after so you can see that the image slightly lacks a little bit of contrast so i'm just going to come to the contrast and simply push it up just like that to around let's go with the contrast of around eight and i feel like the image is still a little dark so I'm just going to push this up just like that so I'm just going to come to the blacks and simply knock it down so I don't know the procedure you guys use when you're doing your raw processing or color grading in camera but this is my easy to go kind of procedure for color grading images in the camera filter so I'm just, I'm just going to continue turning this down the blacks are on negative 10. I just don't want to overtake it down because the image is going to gain some little bit more of the contrast and I don't want that to happen. For example, if at all I do this, you can see I'm losing out on the information in the shadow area of this very image. So I just don't want it to look that bad. So I'm just going to come and push it down to around, I think negative 9 can do. Then I'm going to add a little bit of clarity at around 3. And you can see the before and the after so far for this very image. So the very next thing that we're going to be doing, we're just going to come all the way down to the detail panel. Because I just want to sharpen this image slightly. And the very first thing I prefer to do before doing any sharpening is just coming to this tool uh, so this is under the details so just come and push up my sharpening just like that I hope you can see what this is doing so let me just zoom in it has added some little bit of sharpening but I feel like that is too much just going to knock it down then after doing those minor adjustments the next thing 
I did for this image while color grading it is just coming to the HSO panel and, and this is where the magic really happened. So I wanted to get rid of these kind of yellowish highlights in the sky right here because it was getting close to golden hour but I felt like it was really taking away the attention from the model. So I came to the saturation and since this is part of yellows and I pushed the saturation of the yellows all the way down just like that to make the image really stand out and you can see what this has just done you can see the before and the after and now the model is standing out and the attention now can be really focused onto the model then what I did is coming right to my hues and since I wanted these greens to pop I decided to push the greens towards the blues or the aquas just like that but since the greens were still a little bit too dark I came to the luminous option of the greens and I simply brightened up as a green so you can see luminous is more of the lightness or darkness of a particular color so if at all I push this down you can see it darkens the greens and if at all I push it up it lightens up the greens so that is what we are going in for just want to lighten up the greens in this image so this is what I did for my or this is what I do for my greens and the HSL panel so the very last thing I did I hope you guys looked at the image and it had that kind of a green tint to the highlights so what I did for those highlights I simply came to my split toning option and you can see we have the option known as highlights right here so what I did for the highlights in this image I simply or what I do I come and push up the saturation just like that then I'm just going to come to the hues I'm just going to look for that kind of greenish or some kind of aqua kind of color for my highlights so I'm just going to keep on pushing this up up to that point when I have that nice color and you can see that it is transforming or adding that kind of aqua color to the highlights because I don't want the highlights to really look white then what I do I come back to the saturation and simply reduce on the intensity just like that so I don't want it to be too much just going to come and reduce on the intensity I think at around 9 uh, this is fine for me so you can see the before and the after before after and we have just transformed this in just the camera filter and then the next thing I did for this image you can as well come and do some little bit of cropping the image to straighten it up so you can get the crop tool so the next thing I did was doing the eye and rather the eye whitening so I'm just going to zoom in command plus just like that and come and get the adjustment brush tool so after getting the adjustment brush tool so this tool is like a tool that enables us to target particular areas in different images or different portraits that we should so when you get the adjustment brush tool we have these settings right here so under settings we have for example temperature tint exposure highlights white sh shadows and so many more down here so we want to set up this brush so that we can do the eye whitening and in order to do eye whitening you have to notice or look at the color in the white area of the eye so for this case we can see we have some kind of yellows in this white area and we have some little bit of greens and some other random colors in the white area of the eye so in order to eliminate those colors we have to first come to the temperature slider so we have since we have yellows in this area just come to the temperature and simply knock down the temperature so don't take it all the way down because it is going to be making the teeth blue so just do a little bit to around 
I would say don't exceed 25 so negative 22 will do for this and since we have greens in the white area of the eye simply push this towards the opposite of green which is the magentas and I think 61 can do for that then since we want the eyes to pop a little bit we're just going to push the highlights to around 6 and also do the same for the whites to around 6 and leave all the rest to 0 and since we have those other random colors in the white area of the eye you're just going to come all the way down the saturation and simply knock down the saturation to around negative 65 and when you're done doing that start simply left click and start painting over what you feel should be white in uh, that white area of the eye so don't paint over the skin because it's going to be removing color or desaturating those particular areas of the skin if at all you do paint on them so just keep on doing that on those areas and it's automatically going to uh, whiten those areas and it is going to give uh, your images a whole new vibe or a different feel after you have whitened the eyes so let me just wait for this to respond and I'm just going to zoom out by holding down command minus to zoom out just like that to show you guys uh, the before and after for the overall color grading process for this very image so this was the image this was the image initially before and this is the after before after so this is how I might need to color grade this very image in the camera filter and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more shows on this and don't forget to keep practicing keep color grading and keep creating